So this week we are looking at Junkhead by Alice in Chains. The original song is in E flat standard tuning. We're just gonna stay in standard tuning and play it in exactly the same way. If you wanna play to the track, then all you need to do is just change your tuning down to E flat. If you want a monthly private guitar lesson with me, then check out my Patreon link in the description box below. So to begin with, it's got three different sections. We've got the verse and we've also got the chorus and the guitar solo. So for the verse, we're gonna be playing some power chords. So second fret A, then the fourth fret D, hit that chord once. And then we're gonna move that chord to the left. So it's now on the first fret A and third fret D. Okay, so we've got then we're going to play that chord again and then we're going to go to the third fret low E and do a bend so it'll be like this type of timing and again so for my power chord i use my first and my little finger and that frees up that third finger to do the bend on the top string so all together we've got Then we're going to go into our 2nd fret low E and 4th fret A power chord. And then we're going to move it down to our 1st fret low E and 3rd fret A. So, so far. And then to finish it off we're going to play that chord again. And then we're going to go to the 2nd fret A. Get our top two strings. So it's... And if we put it all together slowly. That loops around several times in the verses. So for the chorus of the song, we go into some normal chords. So our very first chord is the A major chord. Second fret D, second fret G, and second fret B. The strumming pattern we're gonna do is down, up, down. Then we're going to move to a C add 9 chord. So this is the 3rd fret B and 3rd fret high E with your third and little finger. 2nd finger on the 3rd fret A and 1st finger on the 2nd fret D. So on this 2nd chord we're going to go down, up, down, 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 up. And again, down, up, down, 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 up. And if we put the two together. And once more. Down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. Then we move to a G chord. So simply all we need to do is place these first two fingers up a string. So your second finger will be on the third fret low E and first finger on the second fret of the A. We're going to go down, up, down. So our three chords are down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. So a quick tip for the transitions between the chords for my A. To our C add nine, all our third finger needs to do, which is this one here, is just move across one string, put your little finger down, and then build the rest of your chords with your other two fingers. So if I do a transition real slow, and then to our G. Finally, we go to a F power chord, so first fret on the low E and third fret on the A. Just hit this chord once. So all together we've got A, C add 9, G, and our F power chord. With the strumming pattern. Then to finish off the chorus we have this little riff. So I recommend using your second finger on the third fret of the D, first finger on the second fret of the D, then our open D. We go to the third fret A, open D, then to finish it off we go to the third fret on the low E. And again. Now it's really important you learn this end riff of the chorus because in the solo we actually play that multiple times again so moving on to the solo now so the solo sounds like this and you 
essentially repeat that multiple times. So I recommend using your third finger on the fifth fret of the low E. And we play it three times in total. So one with a gap and then one two. Then we go to the third fret A with our first finger. And then we go to the fifth fret D. And again. And then we pick the fifth fret D again. And again, but then you do a bend. And then you return back. Okay, so it's like this. So all together from the beginning. Like that, and once more. And then you pick the fifth fret D again. Pick it again and do your bend. But rather than return, we go to the third fret D. So it sounds like this. And if we add that on from the beginning, and then to finish off the guitar solo, we do our chorus riff. Now I kind of break the rules here and do it with my first finger because that's where we end up after our bend. But if you didn't watch the chorus, then this end solo part goes third fret D, second fret D, open D, third fret A, open D, and third fret low E. Once more. And that is essentially the whole of the guitar solo part. It just repeats multiple times. So let's put it all together now at a slow tempo. Again. multiple times. So that has been Junkhead by Alice in Chains. The sections really stay the same, so the intro and the verse, or the very first verse is just the same as the other verses. Same with the choruses. Um, the only part that's different is obviously the guitar solo. Remember, if you want to play to the tune, then you need to tune down to E flat standard tuning or D sharp standard tuning to play along. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, click the like button, then click the subscribe and the bell. That way you'll be notified each week when I upload a guitar lesson. 